Brain games promise to enhance your mind with stimulating fun. So what's to stop some maniac from downloading all of them, getting a sidekick named Pinky, and taking over the world? Well, as it turns out, brain games. <laughs> Hello Minecraft enthusiasts, Julian here for DNews, and computer-based cognitive training software, or brain games, are a growing market with over 10,000 in the App Store. They promise boosted problem-solving abilities that will be long-lasting. They claim to help sustain your memory into your twilight years. Some even say they can make you good at math all in exchange for a few minutes of play a day. But nearly 70 scientists have signed an open letter from the Stanford Center for Longevity saying they're not so sure. The letter explains that playing these brain games does make you better at something, playing brain games. The same way that playing a lot of Flappy Bird makes you better at unbridled rage. But getting better at a very specific task doesn't translate to broad cognitive improvements. The letter also explains that when players get better at a game, usually it's because they've developed a better strategy, and I can attest firsthand to that. One of my favorite brain games involves combining numbered tiles to get the highest score. And I only got that damn 2048 tile when I changed up my strategy, not by playing so much my planning and spatial reasoning improved. But surely playing these games can't hurt, right? Well, the letter goes on to explain that the time spent playing these games could be better used doing things known to promote a healthy brain. Things like reading, exercise, or being sociable. So the opportunity cost of playing a repetitive game with narrow benefits may make them not worth your time. If you'd like to learn about more myths about your brain, like the oft-quoted stat that we use 10% of it, Anthony has a video on that right over here. And how are you making your brain healthier? What do you do to get it jump-started? Let us know in the comments, and I'll see you next time on DNews.